how you doing? It's Justin with Red Island Shaving, back to you with another uh, shave video from beautiful Prince Edward Island, Canada. So for today's video, I uh, put a poll up in the Canadian White Shavers group on Facebook, and I forgot to click off the um, disable at a poll option for the rest of the group. So they have picked my soap for, um, it'll be my first pass just on my cheeks. And that soap for today is, yeah, that's right, French's Yellow Mustard. Yeah, French's Yellow Mustard. So, me being the good sport that I am, I will actually go through with this for the first pass. Then um, I have a high quality soap uh, I'm going to need for the rest of the shave, I'm sure. Okay, the razor I'm going to be using is uh, this. It's a Gold Dollar 208. Got that from uh, Anthony Esposito. Um, the edge on it, I think, is so-so. Um, I think it's still all right. I haven't used it in a while. Um, if not, for the pass with the mustard, um, if I need to, I'll switch up to my uh, icon. There you get a view of the, the back here. There you go. My icon, uh, Shavecraft 101. And I have a Gillette... Uh, Nanset blade in there. So we will get to lathering this mustard. So I have my lather bowl here. Okay, get the mustard in. Gotta shake it up a little bit there. So uh yeah, French is yellow mustard. Um you know, latherability, not too sure on that. Uh, the scent strength though is about uh well, yeah, it's about an 11 out of 10. Really in your face. It's really strong. It, uh, well, it smells like mustard seed. Uh, vinegar. Uh, maybe a bit of salt. And then a little bit of sugar in the back end there. So you kind of get a little sweet kind of base note kind of going on in there. Just to temper out the acidity. Yeah. Oh, no, not too bad. It smells pretty good. You know, if you're a hot dog. Okay. So the brush for this pass will be my um, dollar store barbecue brush uh, as you can see it has a, a small knot you know it's only like uh, like a two millimeter loft on this um not a whole lot of backbone you know she's it splays out pretty good um but that being said um you know it, it's nice and soft it shouldn't be too scritchy on the face so all in all i think this might be a decent brush you, and you guys can pick this up at a dollar store near you um, you know, keeping with the budget shave uh, line of videos. So we'll just go to the bowl and uh, lather this up. And yeah, it doesn't really seem to lather that well, but we'll just get the brush nice and coated. Um, I, I have put a pre shave oil on my face, guys. I am not that silly. Okay, I'm silly, but I'm not that silly. So I'm kind of hoping that the. <laughs> The pre-shave oil is going to help the razor glide. Um, I'm just doing a pass on my cheeks. I've seen mustard videos before. This isn't new. And the guys just did on their cheeks. I'm not going anywhere near my chin or my neck with a straight razor with this stuff, okay? Just be thankful you're getting this much out of me, all right? I, I'm being a good sport, but my God, guys, next time I put up a pole, I'm disabling that button. All right, so I guess we got this lathered up as much as it's going to lather up more like a paste so here we go oh oh it's cold too I should have put that in the scuttle oh lather flying everywhere just like all my other videos huh all right yeah, I'll get over to the other side of the face oh that's cold This would be great on a hot summer's day. I'll just uh, paint that lather on there. Looks a little thin, but there's not much I can do about that. Going everywhere. Good thing I wore a crappy shirt. All right. Okay. 
So, as you guys can see, there's mustard on my cheeks. So, I can't believe I'm doing this. I gotta get the bowl of mustard out of the way here. All right. Warm up this blade a bit. Can't believe I'm doing this, you guys. Thanks a lot. Thought you were my friends. All right, here we go. Pass on the cheeks with the mustard. Might as well get right into it. Not bad. Look at that. Mustard going everywhere. Mustard going everywhere. Okay. Go over here and do the other side. not too bad the slickness I'd give it about um, oh I don't know the actual mustard itself I'd give it a slickness of about geez zero out of ten but it's actually not doing too bad so I'll tell you what I will lather up my neck or mustard up my neck and we'll do a pass down here Okay. Huh. Just like that. Even after lathering this mustard, the uh, the scent on it is still quite strong. It's not dissipating in the bowl any. Um, the brush leaves a lot to be desired, but you know, what can you do, right? What can you do? All right. I've got mustard dripping all over my shirt, guys. It's a good thing this one's getting thrown out because this is disgusting. A little rough there. I didn't cut myself. <laughs> Thought I did. Must have missed that with the pre-shave oil. So there you have it guys, there's one pass, except for my cheeks with mustard. So I hope you all got a little giggle out of that. <laughs> um, it actually wasn't that bad, I guess. Not bleeding, that's the main thing. So. Oops. So I will uh, get this cleaned up and we will get ready for pass number two. So, all right, I'm going to take this shirt off because that's all I can smell now is mustard. All right, so there you have it. The mustard pass is done. Oh, no, not too bad. All right, so I'm going to rinse off, and then we're going to talk about the actual soap for today, okay?
All right, so the actual soap for today, guys, um, is pick number two in the poll. Soapy Bathman Italian Almond. This is almost, or may even possibly be, on the tonium now. Um, Chris discontinued this scent. I guess it wasn't a very big seller, which is unfortunate because this soap is awesome. Um, from what I've read or what I've heard, it's it's like Cella or Cella, however you pronounce it, only better. So it smells like, um, well, it smells like almonds, obviously, and cherries and like marzipan candy. It is just absolutely wonderful. I already had the lather built up sitting here in the bowl. Okay, a nice slick lather. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so much better than the French's monster, I'll tell you that. All right, the brush I'm using, if I can get it cleared off here is where'd that logo go there the badger and blade one of the special edition brushes from a couple years ago back when i used to be active in that forum uh, i got this brush they all come from west coast shaving it has an omega bore knot pretty stiff but i like it it's got a lot of backbone and all in all, it's a, it's a dandy little brush. So, one that gets used quite often. So, there you go. That's what a real lather looks like, gentlemen. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Now, I'm going to continue using this straight razor. Just clean off the blade a bit here. It's kind of gunked up. I'm really going to have to clean this. I don't think it's reacting very well with the mustard <laughs> God help me all right Hmm. Oh no, this blade's performing pretty good. Very nice. Very nice.
Blade's actually still smoother than I thought it was. It's sharper than I thought it was too. It's good. So performance on this soapy bath man soap. For those of you who um, know and used to using it, it's fantastic. And for some of those who are watching who haven't tried it, you really should. It lathers up really easily. It doesn't taste very good, but it lathers up easily, especially with this newer formula, the uh, the Shea Shave Soap. Um, and he has a very diverse line of scents. He pretty much has sense for everybody and a uh, great guy to deal with his bombs are the bomb um, they're very nice you can get them with uh, different levels of menthol or get them without the menthol if you so desire I always go for level two I like having a bit of menthol in my aftershave bomb it feels great after a shave and yeah just uh, all in all, a great product. So I have quite a few of his soaps in the den. And um, yeah, so you guys should definitely check it out. All right, go for pass number two here. This blade's not quite as smooth as my uh, as my Thera's Assard, that's for sure. Still pretty sharp, but. It is getting close though. To uh, getting pretty close to needing a home job, I think.
Huh, hold on, that's a bit. Not too bad. I may uh, send it out soon though, just to get a different, uh, maybe a different finish put on, like get her, get it rehomed, just get it right back to basics. This is basically one of the first straight razors I own, so wasn't very good at stropping back then either, and I might get it uh, finished on a different stone, maybe a Jane ad or something. It's a finish that I I like. Anyway, we'll get lathered up and go for the final pass here. As you can see though, the soap is standing up nice in the, uh, the lather bowl. It's not dissipating. Still nice and peaky. And the scent is out of this world. <clears throat> Unfortunately, like I said, I don't think you can get this anymore unless he may still have a couple kicking around. I'm not sure you would have to uh, get in contact with Chris at Soapy Bathman, and he would let you know. All right. Still quite a bit of a little bit of stubble there, but not too bad. Lots of residual slickness on this slope too, on the soap too, guys. So. It's pretty easy to go over uh, over an area again with it. water rinse in the post.
So we'll go with the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel like usual. Good shave though. No irritation. Just a nice, close, comfortable shave. Cheeks are good. You know, right, right down here. Well, you can probably hear that. There's still a bit of roughness, but just a nice, close, comfortable shave. Not much visible stubble. Like I said, no irritation, no cuts or anything. That's the main thing, especially when doing a mustard pass. Not something I would recommend. But anyway, we got away with it. So the bomb course is Italian almonds smells just as good as the soap and this has the level 2 menthol in it absolutely wonderful stuff and the scent strength on this bomb is actually quite nice oh yeah there we go as soon as you get that on you feel that menthol kick Feels really good. Really good. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Um, Operation Mustard, I guess. It can be done. Like I said, though, I did use a pre-shave oil underneath that mustard. Um, I'm not going to lather up mustard and... Uh, or, <laughs> yeah, lather up mustard and then put a straight razor on my face without some kind of protection. No, it's not going to happen, but... All in all, it worked out pretty good. I ruined the t-shirt. Hopefully you guys got a few chuckles. And i um, kind of hoping I get a few views on this video. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, supporting the channel. Make sure you support all the wet tubers out there if you can. I'm going to shout out to uh, Dartmouth Shaving. Uh, good friend Mark from uh, CWS, the Canadian Wet Shavers. He puts out some great videos, and he puts a lot of time and effort into his videos. He is predominantly French. So he will put out a video in French and then he will go back and do it over and put it back out again in English. So he's doing two videos to everybody's one. So please, if you can, go support him. That is Dartmouth Shaver. And uh, give him a thumbs up and a subscription and leave a comment in one of his videos and all as well. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. As always, have a great day, my friends, and have an even better shave. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.